Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about constants of nature and today I will talk about the mass of the universe. Why considering constants at all? Because they are the key to fundamental physics. However, the mass of the universe is a constant that most people wouldn't even consider a fundamental constant and actually it is something that obviously slowly changes because as in the case of the Hubble constant what we can reasonably define is the mass contained in the visible universe and of course the visible universe grows every day so uh, this is not definitely not a constant but it is an important message of nature we have to wonder about and well uh, the next problem is that it's very difficult to measure what we can measure fairly precisely is the mass of the sun by our own orbiting velocity around it but uh, if you look at the galaxies then we already have the problem that not all stars are alike and what you have to figure out is given the light or the uh, color of a star how heavy it is and already here it's a big problem but of course you have reasonable estimates and you can estimate also the mass of the uh, non-luminous components such as uh, molecular clouds and so on and then you can uh, look at other galaxies and again with a huge error but in a reasonable manner determine what's the mass of the other galaxies and the next uncertainty is how many galaxies are in a given volume in the universe this is also a non-trivial problem because the density of galaxies is not something homogeneous it's clustered in very small volumes and uh, there is even the hypothesis that the distribution of galaxies in the universe might be fractal so but again uh, we can do some estimates and at the end of the day with all these estimates you have a estimate for the mass of the universe which is about 10 to the minus 52 or 10 to the minus 53 kilograms a huge number now there is a very interesting coincidence because the order of magnitude estimates coincides with the speed of light squared times the radius of the universe divided by the gravitational constant what you can phrase this also in another manner that the gravitational potential of the entire universe is more or less in the same order of magnitude as the speed of light squared that was a coincidence first discovered by Erwin Schrödinger in 1925 and yeah these kind of coincidences this one related to Marx principle I made a lot of videos about this is the reason that we have to wonder about constants of nature and maybe eventually we can explain these coincidences if you're interested in fundamental physics subscribe to this channel and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it.